Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little vlog review. This time of the following episode, Evermore. Now, this episode had something that was surprising. Yes, this show lives off shock and awe, going, ooh, ah. But you know, there's always supposed to be these people that survive inexplicably. It's just like they they survive. They live on for whatever damn reason. <laughs> it's like, oh, they survive. Okay. But this episode, we lost Joe Carroll. Now, I it's rumored but it's not confirmed. I don't believe it's confirmed as of me filming this vlog that there will be no season four, that this season will be the final season. So killing Joe off now actually makes sense because it's like it's not going on much longer. Anyway, so you know, what's the point of having the big bad that started all that was even though this season they pushed him to more minor role he's really the reason a lot of people watch him for me I'm not going to stop watching but still it's like you're missing a good character and so I think really Joe's death should have been the series finale because that's how everything really started in this show so it should be the end of it so that's my one complaint isn't that it happened it's just that it wasn't the series finale and there's still a few more episodes to go so they should have continued <laughs> with Joe being alive though I'll, I'll get to that point actually later <laughs> I was like, I'm skipping through the outline. The outline doesn't matter. <laughs> and anyways, <laughs> is Joe really dead? Uh, some people on IMDb have, have speculated that what if one of the followers sort of messed with the liquids? So Joe will only appear dead. He won't actually be dead so if that's I think they should go that route if there's a fourth season if there's no confirmed fourth season and you know people writing the show in charge of the show know that it's going to get canned going to get cancelled they shouldn't have this but you know the falling really needs Joe in some capacity so this better not be the plot twist that we end season three on and then we get no season four because as long as the show isn't going on there doesn't need to be Joe alive. Uh, you know, if it does turn out to be his final words quote the raven nevermore really 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 fitting. I was just like, that scene, I was sort of tearing up. I was like, of course, of course he would choose that one. And if you haven't read The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, I really suggest you do. And uh, damn, there's actually some really cool interpretations that you should look up. And if you're going to university, you have access to you know some services where you can look up some really interesting essays. I haven't been in college. I graduated from college of maybe four years ago or so, so I can't remember those services or else I would tell you them. And I like did a little essay on the Raven back in the day. Yeah, I might turn out to be Joe's follower. Ah, oh, fuck it. I went off like really fucking nerdy there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
sorry. But anyways, a point I was going to skip down to was that even if Joe is dead, he's still living on via hallucinations from Ryan Hardy. And in previous episodes, which I probably did mention, the homoerotic subtext, <laughs> because it's like really hard not to, but Ryan subconsciously, part of him likes Joe and so is bringing him into the dreams, even dreams about killing Gwen. And this episode ends with Ryan sharing a drink with the totally real Joe Carroll. Yeah, so he hallucinates that and he starts to drink again. And I would... I don't think this will happen. I'm not sure if I would really... Like, if Joe dying isn't the series finale, it should be Ryan going insane. You know, seeing Joe Carroll and then originally starting to, you know, do the sort of Joe Carroll killings for good, but quickly turning to evil. And since there's only a few episodes left, you know, that had to be really fucking quick. And then he, maybe him have to be executed or him prisoned because, you know, he just went insane. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I, the first young adult series I read was not a happy series. You know, it was, was one of those series that you're like, this is for kids, so I'm going to off this really, to this really dark path, and it's like not surprising if you know my history of literature. <laughs> uh, anyways, my final thoughts on the following episode, Evermore. This was fucking awesome. Again, it would have made an awesome series finale. We'll just have to see where the rest of this season goes and if it if the show does get renewed. And that whole Joe Ryan, you know, even if you don't ship them, it's just there's just this really great twisted sick bomb between them with Joe going like, "Yay, yeah, yeah, I you know, I know you like killing and Ryan wanting to admit to Joe he's right, but part of Ryan still holding to that good part of himself, the pure part that sort of left, and it's, it was very good. I mean, not just, you know, Joe Carroll dying is the reason I think that this should have been the series finale, but them basically getting all their feelings out. That was fucking awesome. And if you have any comments or questions about anything I said in this vi video about the episode, comment below and hey, guess what? Uh, this is a short little vlog so I'm not able to mention everything. I sort of think I noticed maybe I need to replace the microphone pick up sound better <laughs> but um but yeah but since this is a short little vlog I probably didn't mention everything that I could have so if there's something about the following episode evermore that you want to know my opinions about ask questions below and I have been Jashikins owner at jashikins.blogspot.com and if you go to my blog, you can see wonderful vlog reviews like this. I've got more of my Jash reads <laughs> up with the third and fourth chapters of Amor's number one, The Invasion by Kay Applegate. And you can actually subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jash Reads, and you know, get, you know, get alerted to when more of my lovely dramatic reading is done. And yeah, I've 
The next part of my Animorphs reread should be out in a few days, depending how things go. And if you go on my blog, on the sidebar thing, are links to where else I am on the web. There's a new, there's also a Ryan shop, so if you read anything by me and like, I would really like to have some of Jashikin's Ryan for myself, there's a way. <laughs> and there's also still a dragon to be named on the sidebar, and if you suggest a name and your name is accepted, there's ways for you to advertise on my blog, so, you know. And, hey, if you're an artist who wants to draw for an upcoming giveaway, there's, like, thing on the sidebar there, and if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link in the description to donate your account, and if you donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to my campaign, thank you very much, and until next video, goodbye.